What's good, BitRushers? My name's Kyler, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mint an NFT on the ZK Sync Layer 2. I did already previously make a video on how to bridge your tokens over to ZK Sync, so if you need, go ahead and pause this video and go watch that one. It should be linked in the description below, and then come on back to this one. Everyone who's new around here, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Follow me on social media. Links for everything in the description below. Let's pound that thumbs up button and get into the content. Okay, for today's video, we're going to start out again over at zksync.io. And from here, we are able to come to the top menu and click on tools and wallet. Once you're logged in and synced up with your MetaMask wallet, it should look something like this, and you should see the amount of Ethereum that you traded over in the last step. For us, it was only 0.01 ETH, and there it is in our wallet. From here, we're able to come to the top menu and choose NFTs. If this is your first time doing this, you're going to have to sign a few more transactions with your MetaMask wallet. So just go ahead and do that. I've edited out of today's video just to keep things nice and short. Once you see this screen, you are able to just click Mint NFT and we will see our wallet here and the CID or hash that we'd like to type in from where the image is going to come from. I'm going to use IPFS storage with Pinata, and I have another video on that as well. If you guys need, I'll have that link in the description below, and it will give you all the information on storing your images and metadata over there on IPFS using the pinata.cloud. Okay, we're now inside of pinata.cloud account, and you can see here I do have a couple items in my account already from that previous video where I showed you guys how to use this. So if you don't have those, just ignore that. From here, we're able to upload images or folders again, and for today's video, we're simply going to upload single images, so let's do that now. I'm going to click File and just navigate to the correct folder and choose the one you'd like. I'm going to do Rocket first and Upload. I'm just going to take a second here and upload both of those other images so I can mint three. Okay, now that we have the images we'd like uploaded, we can simply click on this little Copy button right here, and that will copy the CID. So coming back to the Minter here, we're just going to paste that in. Control V or just right click and paste. And we do see there is going to be a small fee. And there is also a one-time account activation fee, which is $14.67 and about $1.62 to do this Mint which is a little bit of money, but very, very cheap and insignificant compared to what the prices would be on the Ethereum Layer 1 mainnet. If everything looks good to you, go ahead and authorize. We are going to need to sign that transaction again here in our wallet. And that's it, nice and quick and easy. Now that we've authorized that transaction, we can mint. Again, sign your transaction and we're good to go. There we go. We do see that green check mark to indicate we were successful with our mint. Okay, coming back to the NFT tab, we can now see we have an NFT in our wallet here and it does say NFT and a number. And when we click into it, we can see the unique content hash. We can see the creator, which is our account. And we can see the status, which is not yet verified. Do keep in mind, it takes about a half an hour, up to eight hours to sync with the layer one Ethereum mainnet and then to pick up this transaction. Once that happens, it will say verified. And at that point, we could withdraw or transfer. So what I'm going to do with these once they're done being verified on mainnet is I'm going to pick a couple lucky winners here. So go ahead and comment on today's video with your Ethereum address and I will send these over. I'm going to pick like one a week for the next three weeks. Each one of the winners will get one of these unique NFTs that you just saw earlier. I'm going to go ahead and mint the other two right now. 
And in addition to that, guys, if you're familiar with my Crypto Pumpkins project, we just recently announced Chapter 2, which is called the Chill Cubes NFT. It'll also be a playable NFT in my launcher crypto game that will be coming later on this year. If you guys are interested in more details about that, we will have some announcements coming soon. But for right now, you can get early access by jumping in the Discord chat group or following us on Twitter. We do have a lot of great prizes coming. We have extra special prizes planned for the people that are active members of the community who have high levels and high rankings within the community. And we also have announced a two plus invite for whitelist. We're only going to allow about 50 people onto that. So I do imagine that will go quick. And then we have other plans for opening up the whitelist by doing other things. However, to start, it is an invite contest. So go ahead and invite two friends and use the bot in that discord chat and you can get yourself one of those 50 spots. All right, I've now minted those three NFTs and we can see them here in my wallet. So again, leave a comment with your Ethereum address in the comments below. Make sure it's not just your address because it will get filtered out by YouTube. You need to say something like nice video or thanks for the help or whatever you guys want and then add your Ethereum address to make sure it gets through those spam filters. And again, we'll just come back and update you here with this video once these are done being verified. All right, BitRushers, it is a few hours later, and if we click into any one of these NFTs, we can see they are now verified, and I am able to transfer them. However, I still don't see the image. I'm not sure exactly uh, how all that works, if we're able to update the names or the metadata or whatever. However, this is what we got so far. So if you guys want, again, leave your Ethereum address in the description below, and I'm going to send these to three lucky people. I'll continue to make videos and update you guys about how all this works as I figure it out and as they release more updates. That's everything for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy the content. If so, do smash that thumbs up, share it on social media. Make sure you're subbed to at D5Brains with a Z on Twitter. Join my Discord group for the pumpkins and chill cubes. And make sure you leave your Ethereum address in the comments below for a chance to win one of those NFTs. Thanks again for watching, happy crypto, and let's keep getting that coin.